for LinkedIn content? How do you know which content performs well? What types of topics land well? And what times of day to post? Well, the short answer is you don't, particularly when it comes to timestamping of your posts. So on LinkedIn, to find your activity, you go to the me area and you go down to um, post and activity and you'll, you'll see this area here. Click on the post tab to see your content and it's all listed in reverse order. So this one was just an hour ago, so quite new. Uh, four reactions, one comment, 214 views. Um, I can scroll down and you'll see this one was two days ago. We've got, we've got another one from two days ago, three days ago, four days ago. But what's missing is the timestamp. I don't know what time of day this was posted or what day of the week. And if we, if we keep scrolling down, we're going to get to three months ago and one year ago, two weeks ago. So I don't know when this was posted. So I might be looking at these stats thinking, well, OK, they're, they're, that seems to do OK, but how can I replicate that? Well, you're not going to know. Um, what you can look into, though, is, you know, what in terms of comments, are people commenting? Are they engaging? And that's going to come down to how you write your content. But how do you know um, which post performed best? Well, I want to introduce you to Shield App. So Shield App is a great little tool that allows you to look at your metrics from your LinkedIn um, profile and gives you, it gives you some insights. So with the tool, I'm in my content overview, I can actually look at all my content over a particular period of time. I can go you know, one week, four week, a month, month to date, all this sort of stuff, or custom. Now there's only so far you can go back. So in this particular um, period, I've chosen the entire um, year for last year, so 2019. And it gives me the overarching stats. And then we've got the content table. Now I've got it listed um, by, by comment. So the one with the most comments is at the top, then the second most comments, third most comments. So why this is useful is I can see quickly which posts are you know, effective in terms of engagement. So this post engaged a, you know, a lot more people than the previous and, and vice versa. So I can, with the list, I can see what the what the um, content was i can mouse over and it will give me give me a little preview as to what was in the comment or what was in the post i should say um, you can see i've got three hashtags there's a bit of a list now if i scroll across here it tells me it was a text post it tells me there are no emojis i, I use three hashtags no links there's the total views there's the likes there's the comments there's the shares and there's the engagement rate if we scroll here if you click this button, you can actually open the post on LinkedIn. So you can actually look at the post and see you know, what worked. So here it is. And you'll notice here it says, as previous, um, it was posted one year ago. So I know that, but I don't know what month, what day, what time of day, any of those details. But I can look at the post and I can see what worked. I can scroll down, see who actually commented just to get that refresher um, and what kind of co co comments we got. Now, where this is useful is I might want to use this as a framework to write a future post. So maybe what worked was the way I asked the question and had the five um, sort of answers. Now, this is essentially a poll. Po LinkedIn does have a poll feature right now. But where this is useful is it's asking for engagement. It's asking for comments. But as I said, I don't know when this was posted. So if I go back to the Shield app, you'll notice here here is the timestamp, which is pulled from LinkedIn. So LinkedIn does have this data on the back end. So it was Sunday the 30th of June at 5.41 p.m. And if I look down, I can look down for patterns. So the next one down was posted on a Tuesday at 11 a.m. Then we've got Monday at 4.30 p.m. Then we've got a Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Monday at 6.55 a.m. So what you're seeing here is there's many different days, different times. So there is no magic formula. But this is my account. So if you were to look at yours, you might find patterns. Now I do post different times a day and I do that strategically because I want to test what works and look for patterns. If you are posting at say every day at 5 p.m., then of course this is gonna show up at 5 p.m. and you've got a pattern. But it's a pattern you've created. It's not a pattern you're seeing. The reason I post at different times of the day is I'm actually looking for patterns to see if something stands out. And as you'll see in the results, nothing stands out. So there is no pattern as to what's successful. It comes down to how you write your content. And I've, I've got a framework, um, the E cubed plus IC squared framework, which is my format um, for writing engaging content, which is part of my ConnectFluence program. So that's what I adopt 
And that's more important than the actual time of day that you post. Because the time, you know, the time this week or the, or, the week or the day of the week this week may not work next week. But you won't know that unless you're tracking it. Now, Shield app is a paid app and, you know, you might think it's, you, you might not think it's worth inv investing in for this purpose. It's up to you. I think it's a great tool. Uh, but the other way of doing it is to actually do it manually and cre create a spreadsheet, put down the time, you know, the time of day you posted, the day of the week, all that sort of stuff and capture your data manually. Now you can do this if, if you're not posting a lot, that, you know, that's not too onerous, um, but then you can look for patterns yourself. But this tool does it for you. So, you know, I think it's a great tool. And you can sort by different things like this. Like I said, this is short, sorted by number of comments and I can click and sort by views. So I can see which posts had the most views. That's gone the opposite way. Let's turn that around because you can also see which didn't work, which got no views, which got no comments, no, you know, and they can think, well, don't do that again. Or maybe it was posted at the completely wrong time and just didn't hit and didn't get that early engagement. So if we look, the, the highest views was that post that was the highest performing. And then this one here was the second highest performing in views, but it got less comments than the second one in the previous example. So it might have been that this is more, it was seen by people, but people didn't feel a need to engage. So you can do a lot with this, this data, but it's really useful not just to go, well, look at me, aren't I great? Um, it's, it's useful to plan your content in future and look for things that, that can work better for you. So hopefully this has been useful. If you've got any questions, feel free to get in touch. But um, yeah, go and check out Shield app. It's a great tool. So shieldapp.ai. Thanks for watching.